Konnichiwa, this is the Shogunstein, and this is just some initial thoughts on the game Sheep in Disguise. This is a card game for ages 10 plus, 2 to 6 players, 20 to 45 minute playing time. And just in the interest of disclosure, to be transparent, we got a review copy from Amazon Vine. So they did send us a copy for review purposes. Now, Sheep in Disguise, it's like one of those uh, unstable kitten, exploding unicorn, llama type games. We normally don't play those. Little Shogunstein might have played a couple of those types of games at uh, his little high school gaming club. But generally at home, we don't have many games like this. So again, they sent us a review copy. And I got to tell you, uh, we were pleasantly surprised. The game was uh, quite competitive. It wasn't easy to to win, and uh, we had fun with it. It was definitely fun. It's also colorblind friendly, so as a colorblind player, um, I didn't have any issues with uh, the cards or the the color. We always like when when games do that. So uh, the rule, the game sounds like it's simple. You got to get, depending on the player count, a certain number of these flocks of the different uh, sheep that are in disguise. So in a two to three player game, you got to get five. In a four player game, you got to get four flocks. In a five to six player game, you got to get three flocks. So sounds easy, but it's actually not because there are all different kinds of action cards that come up that can have people steal your flocks or take away a card and then you... Um, the flock has to go back. Also, you can only have one uh, flock of uh, the same kind of suit. So I couldn't have two cowboys or two pirates. You can also have a flock once that's five different sheep. So instead of three of the same, you can have five different. Setup is pretty easy. First thing you got to do is take out these instant attack cards. And I'll go over what these do in a minute. But before you set up the game, you should take these out. Everyone's going to get a hand of five cards. There's no hand limit. And on your turn, it's very simple. You can play as many action cards, and there's a bunch of action cards, as you can. So it's kind of like Flux. There's different action cards. That's what the action cards kind of remind me of, very Flux-like. And then um, once per turn, you can take a card from your hand. And again, you start off with five cards, and you can switch it with one of the cards that are here. Now, again, there are other action cards that may let you take from here or here at a discard pile. But again, on your turn, you are going to play action cards. You are going to, once, if you want, um, switch a, trade a card from your hand to the, the pile here. And again, you don't have to play an action card either. Then your turn ends by drawing a card from the pile. Those are things. If you don't want to play an action card or trade a card, then you can just end your turn immediately by drawing a uh, card from the, the deck. Now, what also complicates getting these sets of uh, flocks of sheep are the exposed card. The exposed card, um, if you put this down, you've exposed the uh, disguise. So some people, maybe they don't realize that's a sheep. They, they think it's a real pirate. Or maybe you know you're in Tombstone and you're you're over there at the OK Corral. You didn't realize that that's not uh, Doc Erp, that that's uh, you know a sheep. Or again, you got your uh, you know your Viking sheep, like you thought it was Tor and uh, you know the Tom uh, Hiddleston guy, but that's uh, really a sheep. So the expose, if someone grabs one of these and has as an action, you can put it down on someone's flock. So they're exposed. Now, the other player can, there's a card that blocks it. You can pay two to get rid of the expose. But if you leave the expose up, two things. One, you can't win. So no matter how many flocks you have out, if you have exposed cards out, you can't win. So it's kind of like a, a creeper in, uh, in, in, in flux where you got to get rid of those, those, those creepers. The other thing is once you have a flock exposed, there are several of these attack cards in the deck. They're instant. The attack card destroys all exposed flocks. They go to the discard. So however many uh, exposed flocks you have, the attack card uh, destroys them. And that makes it even more difficult to get those flocks to win. If no one has an exposed flock, um, then there's a secondary action. In this case, pass one card to the, to the left. So that's basically the game. It's pretty simple. But, uh, you know, the game was fun. It was competitive. It was hard to, to get the, uh, the win. 
Also, there's a golden flock here. If you get these three uh, golden ones, uh, you're automatically going to, to win. Now, with the flock, um, you don't have to wait till your turn to put it. Somehow, if you steal a card, trade a card, someone switches a card with you, you get it in the draw. As soon as you get the three, you put it out. This one, uh, if you get the three, you win automatically. So again, just like in the beginning of the game when you take the uh, attack cards out, you're going to take these out when you deal the initial five. So again, we don't really play the unstable kittens, exploding, you know, llama type games, but maybe we got to get into it a little more because this was quite enjoyable. There are a couple of expansions for it I saw in the instruction book. I also see there is a not safe for work edition for those people that, uh, you know, want to play more adult sheep in disguise type game. Very pleasantly surprised. We enjoyed it. This is definitely, uh, it was definitely competitive. It was definitely not easy to get the five flocks down. And we had fun with it, which is the most important thing. So, yeah, it's, you know, it's light. It's filler. It's luck-based. So your friend that likes, you know, felled games and likes to win the games, you know, they're going to complain about the luck of the draw. But I thought this was a fun game. And certainly, uh, you know, good, good again, not the, there's a not safe for work edition, so not saying that one. But the regular edition would be great you know, for families or kids or, you know, just uh, in between games or, you know, maybe you're getting ready for, for dinner and you want to play a game. So quite enjoyed this. So we want to thank Amazon Vine for this uh, uh, review copy. This is Sheep in Disguise. You got to get flocks. Again, it depends on your player count. Very colorblind friendly. Another thing we like, very clear that you can look at the color, you can look at the name or the, the picture. So nice for us colorblind players. Overall, very happy with this. Uh, quite a fun game. Sheep in Disguise, Shogunstein out.